Sure is top flight security there. Sure is indeed. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. Cheers, cheers, cheers. What up, y'all? It's KMB, the sexy ninja in the place to be for a paper saber universe. And this is uh, the new world podcast. Pens flying, Red Bulls flying. They all got wings. Now, we're going to talk about impact. There was no impact last week. And they have, there is one because of the hurricane and everything that's happening down in Florida. Um, so, but, but here we are for Impact in Nashville, Tennessee, October 10, 2024. I'm Tom and Matthew on commentary. We are on the road to Bound for Glory, October 26th. We got Russell Dream this weekend, and then we have uh, Bound for Glory uh, in two weeks. So a lot of great stuff for wrestling fans. You know, we had bad blood, so a lot of good stuff here. Uh, we started off with Wendy, Rosemary, and Steels versus Jordan and uh, Soul and Masha. What a fun way to start this show um very very fun impactful match you know um but jordan and soul and masha got the win masha and jordan have a little bit of tension you know and it's going to show later on in the show because they're going to face each other at bound for glory um and alicia was ringside to support steals then we have gia with josh alexander and sinner and saint now with all three combined our northern armory I, I really like that that name. That's a good name. Northern Armory. He's got his fellow Canadians with him. He's like, hey, I'm telling everybody and Aaron Young, Eric Young, everybody needs to know and be put on notice that we are here to dominate. Then we have Nick Namath come out and talking about his partner, not his partner, his uh, soon to be partner, and uh, by opponent at Bound for Glory. And he says, he said his name and he shall appear. And that is Joe Hendry. You know. Nick, they, they a little back and forth, but they are interrupted quite quickly by first class, you know, talking all that trash and everything like that, you know, and Santino comes out like, hey, you know, what, what, what's going on here? Let's do a uh, fish class. <laughs> so they're saying it now out loud. Oh my gosh, that, that, yeah, it, it's such a good, uh, I love Santino, man. And, um, Create uh, our main event for tonight, Nick and Joe versus First Class, because Nick was like, who do I get as a partner? Then Joe's like, me. So they will partner against First Class later on tonight. Then we get um, Heather Reckless with Ash Bael against the bank, the makeover. You know, they're like, oh, my God, I took a shoe off and said, this is the coloring book. You know, so that makeover is coming soon. Josh Alexander versus Eric Young. This was an okay match, but Josh Alexander got, gets the win. But Icarus and Travis had the help. You know, the whole Northern Armory is putting everyone on notice. And uh, they attack Eric Young, and the commentators is like, where's Steve Macklin? He'd be such a good friend. Where's he at? Then we find out Steve Macklin's cuffed in the back, beaten down. So Icarus and Travis got to him. So this was a well-thought-out plan by Josh Alexander, and then they take out Eric Young's knee with the chair. So... What's going to happen? Or is this building to Bound for Glory? What's next with the Northern Armory? Who is uh, in their path and in their sight and in their scope? So then Jordan is backstage. Gia tries to talk to her. Jordan's like, hey, hold on. I'm trying to look for something. And we go into this creepy room with pictures. And me being very new to TNA itself, I'm still learning things. Like, um, like I was like, what's, the, what's these pictures here? And then I get told later on. Uh, in this show with uh, Jordan Grace and Masha, it's her kill wall, and I was like, "Oh, okay, so this is the thing. That's cool." So, so there's her wall, and there's pictures of uh, the women's division and who's xed out, who she uh, got got, and stuff like that. So I thought that was pretty cool and interesting. Mike Santana comes out, cuts a great promo on the Moose, and he calls out Moose, and he's he calls him a baby boy bitch. Moose got his top black security. <laughs> I don't know why. I looked at the lineup of these guys. I'm like, sure is top flight security there. Sure is indeed. <laughs> oh. But, you know, with this top flight security, uh, you know, they, yeah, top of the line, I guess, for Moose. 
But this uh, sets up where Mike Santana gets attacked by the system and they're attacking and then Moose comes in and then ABC comes out and the Hardys come out. Big fight. Then Santino comes out. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hold on. We got, I got to control the shenanigans going on here. We'll have ABC and the Hard Boys <laughs> face each other right now. But Moose and uh, Mike Santana, you will face each other at Bound for Glory. So a lot of that going on. And I did like the promo back and forth between Mike and Moose, you know. Um, and TNA crowds, like, I think it's just because of the room. Like, it's really hard, like, to read how loud that room gets and what, what gets a pop and what doesn't. Because sometimes it gets really awkwardly silent inside a, um, a TNA uh in this TNA where they set up the room and everything like that. So, but uh, yeah, so we got that. Then we get ABC versus the Hardys. And of course it ends in a DQ. So not really anything to go off of, but cause the system attacks again, then here is Santino again. And he tells the system, like you guys causing all this ruckus, you know what? At bound for glory, it'll be you versus ABC and the Hardys for those tag team championships in a full metal mayhem match. I am like, whoa! And I'm like, what's a full metal mayhem match? So I looked it up and I was like, all right, bound for glory is looking pretty glorious, if you ask me. So that's what's going to happen with those tag team championships. Then we go into a number one contendership uh for the X Division Championship. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Uh, Loretto Kid versus uh, Jason Hutch versus uh, Leon Slater. Mike Bailey's on commentary. Jason, one part of the good hands. You know, they cut a promo before. And this was a really good match. I will say this is probably my match of the night. Like, the, the X Division is nothing to mess with. And this uh, Leon Slater, who won this match, is a really talented kid, man. Like, really talented. So... I cannot wait to see what happens next week between Mike Bailey and uh, Leon Slater for the X Division Championship. I wish it was at Bound for Glory, but hey, we got to keep everyone coming back to the weekly show, right? I'm coming back. Then we have Jordan Grace coming out of nowhere. She comes out. She calls out Masha. She's like, hey, I saw your little kill room. And Masha, you know, after coming out, she's like, yeah, you know, I'm, I want to show you that I'm, I'm a threat. I'm going to take that championship. And she gives her the envelope. And it's... Jordan Grace's picture with the X, Red X. So at Bound for Glory, these two will battle for the TNA Knockout Championship. It's going to happen. Main event time. I guess first class was out there um, uh, causing, like, talking on the mic before their match with Nick and Joe. And then a fight breaks out before because uh, Joe comes out and uh, first class attacks first. And then here comes Nick and then they get him out of the ring. And it, it was a really fun match. This was a really good main event. Uh, they only had like 10 minutes or something like that. But they they packed what they could. And message received to Joe when um, Nick tags himself in and does the standing ovation. And does the little turn to Joe. And I'm like, oh my goodness. These two are going to tear it up October 26th at Bound for Glory. In Detroit, the Motor City itself. They're going to tear it up. So... That was Impact, uh, October 10th, 2024. Tom and Matthew on commentary were in Nashville, Tennessee. It's good to have Impact back this week. Felt a little lonely last week. No Impact. <laughs> but overall for the show, I give it a three out of five. My match of the night was for the number one contendership for the X Division Championship, Loretto Kid versus Jason Hush versus Leon Slater. So that's my match of the night. Three out of five. That's it. That's all. Drop those comments below. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Share your grandma. Share your grandma. Share the bum down at Walmart. Go to that link uh, for the merchandise itself. And remember that the New World Podcast is for life. Brother. See his name and he appears. <laughs>